All right guys, so as you can see, we got the BRZ back in the garage. So this is day four. So we got the fenders on, fully mounted. So what we're gonna be doing now is getting the wide body panels, which is in that box right there. And we're gonna be uh, test fitting it. So with these panels, you have to cut a lot more than what we cut on the previous body kit. So right here, this part is like basically what we're gonna be cutting uh, the most. So like, we're basically gonna go from like here to like up here. So, and then make our way this way. So we got a special tool for that, which is called a electric body saw. So we got this at Harbor Freight for like 35 bucks. And this is gonna make it a lot easier and a lot more precise when we're cutting these uh, panels. But this is gonna make everything a lot easier. So let's just get started by mocking up, test fitting it, and seeing where we need to start cutting. All right guys, so these are the two bits that uh, it comes with. So there's gonna be more than enough than what we need to cut this stuff. Um, they're pretty sharp, pretty thin, which I like. Um, it's gonna make it a lot easier to cut and it's gonna make it more precise. Alright guys, so right now we have the driver's side test fitted. So far it's looking good. As you can kind of tell right here, as you can see, it is fairly even. The only thing is that right here is sticking out a bit. That's gonna be fixed because there's a bolt right here that connects it. So that's gonna make these sit flush together. And then right here it's coming out because there's a, obviously another bolt right here. And that's gonna be pushed in more and it's gonna be flush. But so far the fitment between this and here, like this gapping, it's just perfect right now. I love it and that's why you get authentic parts. So right now the back is looking decent. It's looking good right here between the spacing and the, and the back of the fender. The only thing I have to worry about really is just this piece down here. I'm gonna try to zoom in on that for you. This is usually where you have a side skirt. We don't have the side skirt, so what we're gonna do is just push this and that's Joshua's idea so we're gonna try that um, but let me show you the other side right now the other side doesn't look great yet just because I still have to adjust it just gotta fix that up real quick and I'll update you guys on that alright guys so it's a little while later so far we have this side mocked up pretty well the fitment here is a lot better alright guys so right now we're just gonna put the self tappers in drill a hole put the self tappers in 
Um, I know people say it sub taps into it. I'm gonna still drill the hole. That's just for me. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna sub tap it in, and then later on we're gonna put some nice beauty hardware on. Alright, let's get to it. Alright guys, so this is how it looks so far. Can't even tell how wide it is. Let me come up here. This is how you can tell. Alright guys, so this is it without the tape on it. Holes are all drilled. It just looks so wide. This thing looks so freaking wide. I would pull it out, but it's raining right now. But you know what? Since you guys are awesome and you stayed this long in the video, I'm gonna just pull it out for you guys. Even with the stock wheels in the front. Yeah, it's about to rain, guys, so I can't leave it out here for too long. But wow, wow. Sheesh. Things looking crazy right now, guys. Alright, I'm gonna pull it back in and we're gonna get started on cutting. So, yeah, let's do it. All right guys, so this is what I got done so far. You can see right here, I left this here just because um, that's like the support for the front bumper and the fender. So I made sure to leave that. I'm gonna put the kit back on and see if that's okay. And I wanna make sure that the wheels are actually going to be able to move through there as well. Just look at that big hole there, yo, that's insane. That's such a big hole. But yeah, so I got this side finished as well. So that's all I gotta do is just put the new wheels on and test fit. I, you can see that I cut up a little right here and here. So that's bare metal. So we're gonna go back and paint over that just so that it doesn't rust over time. But so far we're making good progress today. Right now I'm gonna go jack the car up and grab the wheels. Alright guys, so I threw the kit on in the front, just put two bolts on just to see how it looks. You can see that there's quite a bit of poke from these wide fenders. Like these are probably the widest fenders I've ever seen. Nothing a little camber. Just a, just a tiny bit of camber. Just, just to match the rear. Just a tiny bit of camber and it would be perfect.
right guys, so as you can see, Joel's post heating, but we got this first piece laid out. Uh, it's fully cut, everything's good. We're just post heating, making sure nothing comes up on it. So now we're gonna be doing this middle, we're gonna be doing this top piece, all one piece, and then right here, we're gonna be doing that a separate piece as well. Now we're gonna be doing it in three pieces just because of bends like this where we wouldn't be able to to lay it uh, without um, being really, really sure that's gonna not gonna lift, you know? Like how it's going so far, it really, it really is our favorite angle right here. It looks so good around this bend. Can't wait for that to lift up. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? So, I'm just gonna finish up this video now. Uh, we brought the cars here to a remote location, to a disclosed look. We're taking photos, all right? So we're just gonna do an outro to this video real quick. So, let's just see how the fenders came out. This thing came out so good. Uh, we still have to put the hardware on, but I mean, that's not really a priority right now. Um, but yeah, we even added this. I didn't show you guys that in the video. But we added these uh, stickers that we made, um, pretty cool. Um, let me know if you guys can name all those uh, anime characters in the comment section below. Man, this car looks freaking sick. So this is a, the final result of how it looks. Um, next video, we're gonna be showing you guys the uh, bagging process. So the car's bagged now. Uh, so we're gonna be showing you guys how it came out and everything like that. But I mean, just look at this thing, dude. Came out sick. Looks like a snake, a venomous snake. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section. If you uh, haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe because we got a lot of content with these two cars right here and my 350Z coming up. So just make sure you guys are subscribed. And if you like the video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.